The Pixar Image Computer is a graphics designing computer originally developed by the Graphics Group, the computer division of Lucasfilm, which was later renamed Pixar. Aimed at commercial and scientific high-end visualization markets, such as medicine, geophysics and meteorology, the original machine was advanced for its time, but did not sell in quantity. History Topic. Creation When George Lucas recruited people from NYIT in 1979 to start the computer division, the group was set to develop digital optical printing, digital audio, digital nonlinear editing and computer graphics. Where computer graphics were concerned, the quality was just not good enough due to technological limitations at the time. The team then decided to solve the problem by starting a hardware project, building what they would call the Pixar Image Computer, a machine with more computational power that was able to produce images with higher resolution. Topic. Availability About three months after the acquisition by Steve Jobs on February 3, 1986, the computer became commercially available for the first time, and was aimed at commercial and scientific high-end visualization markets, such as medicine, geophysics and meteorology. The machine sold for $135,000, but also required a $35,000 workstation from Sun Microsystems or Silicon Graphics in total, equivalent to $389,000 in 2018. The original machine was well ahead of its time and generated a lot of single sales, for labs and research. However, the system did not sell in quantity. In 1987, Pixar redesigned the machine to create the P2 second generation machine, which sold for $30,000. In an attempt to gain a foothold in the medical market, Pixar donated 10 machines to leading hospitals and sent marketing people to doctors' conventions. However, this had little effect on sales, despite the machine's ability to render CAT scan data in 3D to show perfect images of the human body. Pixar did get a contract with the manufacturer of CAT scanners, which sold 30 machines. By 1988 Pixar had only sold 120 Pixar image computers. In 1988, Pixar began the development of the PII-9, a nine-slot version of the low-cost P2. This machine was coupled with a very early RAID model, a high-performance bus, a hardware image decompression card, four processors called CHAPs or channel processors, very large memory cards VME-sized card full of memory, high-resolutions video cards with 10-bit DACs which were programmable for a variety of frame rates and resolutions, and finally an overlay board which ran news, and the nine-slot chassis. A full-up system was quite expensive, as the 3 gigabytes RAID was $300,000 alone. At this time in history most file systems could only address 2 gigabytes of disk. This system was aimed at high-end government imaging applications which were done by dedicated systems produced by the aerospace industry which cost a million dollars a seat. The PII-9 and the associated software became the prototype of the next generation of commercial, low-cost, workstations. Topic. Demise and legacy 
In 1990, the Pixar image computer was defining the state of the art in commercial image processing. Despite this, the government decided that the perceit cost was still too high for mass deployment and to wait for the next generation systems to achieve cost reductions. This decision was the catalyst for Pixar to lay off its hardware engineers and sell the imaging business. There were no high-volume buyers in any industry. Fewer than 300 Pixar image computers were ever sold. The Pixar computer business was sold to Vicom Systems in 1990 for $2 million. Vicom Systems filed for Chapter 11 within a year afterwards. Many of the lessons learned from the Pixar image computer made it into the low-cost workstation LCWS and commercial analyst workstation CORE's program guidelines in the early and mid-1990s. The government mass deployment that drove the PII-9 development occurred in the late 1990s, in a program called Integrated Exploitation Capability Topic Design The P2 could have two channel processors, or CHAPs. The chassis could hold four cards. The PII-9 could hold nine cards, four CHAPs, two video processors, two off-screen memory OSM cards, and an overlay board for the news windowing system. News was extended to control the image pipeline for roaming, image comparison, and stereo image viewing. Each chap is a four-way parallel RGBA image computer. This was a SIMD architecture, which was good for imagery and video applications. It processed four image channels in parallel, one for red, one for green, one for blue, and one for the alpha channel whose inventors have connections to Pixar. Images were stored with 12 bits per color channel or 48 bits per pixel. The 12-bit data represented an unusual for today fixed point format that ranged from -1.5 to 2.5 using 2 bits for the integer portion. The range from 0 to 1 had 10-bit accuracy. A Unix host machine was generally needed to operate it to provide a keyboard and mouse at least. The system could communicate image data externally over an ATM per second YAP bus, or a 2M per second multibus to other hosts, data sources or disks and had a performance measured equivalent to 200 VUPS, or 200 times the speed of a VAX 11780s. Usage Walt Disney Feature Animation, whose parent company later purchased Pixar in 2006, used dozens of the Pixar image computers for their computer animation production system and was using them in production up through Pocahontas in 1995. 